It is currently 9.45 p.m. on this Saturday, no, uh, April 15, 2023. And I've had quite the interesting past. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, but it has been life-changing nevertheless. And I wanted to start a new beginning uh, because it by force is a new beginning when you uh, financially reset to being at multiple seven figures and thinking you have a six figure a month residual income that you based your entire life around. The hope of that, or not hope, the reality of that diminishing overnight uh, has become my reality and I gotta say I'm handling it pretty well. Um, and, and I wanted to document the journey of what sort of growth I go through from having to reset at age 32 um, when I am the provider for so much, so many people in my life and so much causes and from my kittens, which I have four of, to um, the kind of role that I aspire to play for my parents, my two younger brothers, for my relatives. I just paid actually a lot more money than I should have today for Eid that's coming up uh, within a week or so uh, for all my relatives. There's another one of my kittens right there. Um, so another two of my kittens right there. But um, right now between when I just finished up some work and when I have gym in about like 13 minutes, I just wanted to cover briefly in this like period of silence that I have when my assistant has left and my other assistant has also left and my maid is about to leave. Um, my trainer is about to come in this like narrow window uh, that I have to myself. I wanted to talk to the one person that I can talk to um, about everything because while I do have some people or my brothers, for example, that I can speak to anything about, I don't want to burden them with things that I should handle. Um, and so the one person that I can speak to openly about all this is myself. And I wanted to do it in a way where I can look back at my life and uh, see how I've overcome uh, m much of these setbacks and restarts and uh okay there she is she wants to be a part of this monologue um i want to remember these parts of my life when i am going through dementia and looking back at my life and wondering what did i make of this time uh of being conscious and uh these memoirs uh, of not just overcoming business challenges but also life challenges personal growth challenges uh, and so much else that I just carry around in my head. Uh, someone asked me, how am I? And I said, or what did she say? Uh, something about, uh, it's on this phone actually, something about um, how are you doing? And I said something like, it's like smiling in the middle of a storm that only you can see and feel. And she's like, what storm? And I said, exactly, with a smiley face. I mean, that was the point of it is that only I can see and feel it. Um, yeah, I mean, I should be in a frantic state right now, considering I probably have lost multiple seven figures. I, I, again, it, it's not that I lost. I mean, I, I have to say I lost it because because otherwise I, I'm, I'm not taking on that responsibility. As it, as, as it said, everything is my fault, uh, which is a way of taking responsibility. But due to some some withdrawal delays from the platform that me all my friend circle and thus you know higher level investors i'm actually one of the smaller players uh here uh i have friends that have close to 20 million uh dollars uh one person another has a few million another has it's just a bunch um anyway so we're all dealing with it. Um, some have, uh, 
some have still some are still holding on to that hope and i was still holding on to that hope that everything is going to be all right that these are just some withdrawal delays uh i had to remind myself i'm like i'm still a millionaire uh but until last night when i had a very important con very uh, awakening conversation um with with someone that is very uh, high up there to know the ins and outs um he lost hope and when he lost hope, I was like, oh, I think I'm also, because if I heard these things about a different company, I'd be like, yeah, they're just trying to go in circles until you give up. Um, but when you have your own livelihood uh, intertwined with the, <laughs> with the well-being of, of the company, then you're a lot more lenient. She's my therapist. Of, of the four kittens I have, this one is the most gentle and loving and the one that follows me around everywhere. My favorite. Um, so, utilizing the limited resource that I have right now um, and just this relentlessness not to give up, not to uh, have the story end like this, um, and also, I, I've overcome so much else in my life. She's being very attentive to everything that's being said. So I, I, I've overcome a lot in my life. Uh, just pretend I'm the kitten. Um, and um, from from dropping out of med school to uh, to to uh, overcoming being jilted um, to some very heavy breakups to disappointing my family to making them not disappointed. Maybe I think. Um, still, still unknown about that, but, but financially, um, being able to support them very well, um, to now, like literally my bank accounts are negative. Uh, so that's, that's interesting, you know, like that's like, imagine being a multimillionaire and then 24 hours later, less than that, you know, you're, you're negative. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I like. I would like to read the next chapter of this story. If it was not my life, I would want to know what happens to this character. Does this character break down in terms of the weight of the world, the weight of the responsibilities on his back is too much? Or like I root for it, every character in a movie or a book of like, yeah, now is the time to turn your life around. Like from Limitless, which is like an amazing, you know, just, I gotta watch that again. I, I like, that is, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> because that's the right kind of, like, approach to take. It's like, okay, look at this as the beginning of the Limitless movie. And um, from there, how, how can I turn it all around? Okay, now my light has been turned off. So here we go. Uh, okay, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Talk about, you know, when it rains, it uh, pours. Um, like a carpet. Why are you so? So, I, I'm eager to see where I go myself. I, I, I can see a future in which I, I not just bounce back from this, um, but also to a point where it's it becomes like a small scar on 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 my chest of. Uh, battle scars uh, that, that I've overcome in life. And in the process of overcoming this, there's a lot that I need to grow uh, into from from my me mental, physical, emotional, financial uh, uh, knowledge of, of how to construct my life to the, the, the brutal honesty of like, okay, this is where I'm really messing up. And, uh, and, and this is where I need to really um, allocate resources time and attention or i'm not being able to handle it i need to ask for help all of these things that um are a deep dive uh, i want to treat this like an experiment where i am both the scientist or the researcher and i am the subject and um, i want to come here as the researcher to discuss myself the subject and say you know that that the, the character or the subject or the the, the patient <laughs> or um, um, the experiment, um, it, you know, it, it is going like this and, and, and uh, this is what needs to be shifted and, and treat myself as uh, 
the higher self and the and, and the, the mammalian self and, I'll, and and this be the chess player and this uh, and, and the the constructor of of tasks and telling the mammalian self to go and implement those uh, uh, conceived uh, game plan the coach and the player I guess um, to so so that so that we can come back and have this feedback of okay this is not uh, this is not what's happening um, and this is what's going right this is what's going wrong this is what we need to change this is how to utilize limited resources to slowly configure for example um, you know th there's a lot of habits that I need to to find guardrails in my life to make sure that I am in the line of uh, from mental physical uh, things like first and foremost I need to do more productive things than busy things that sounds obvious that sounds well it's actually very not obvious because you can feel busy and think that you're moving forward but you you didn't do the 20 percent at least to the 80 percent you've done you just stayed I just stayed busy in the 80 percent and another thing I want to speak in the form of I or either I or the third person of me and not you because you removes the pressure of like oh I'm talking about someone else uh, and not about myself I think my maid just left I heard the door creak meaning my trainer uh, this is the latest that we would have ever trained I was almost gonna say no because he was supposed to be here like six ish and it's like 9 57 right now uh, but I was like say yes say so, yeah like you know th this is something that um, uh, I need to challenge myself to to accept difficult things difficult pathways and and overcome that so there, there's a lot of things that um, I have always dreamt about in terms of like someday I want to be this ideal version of myself and and you know I, for example I wanted abs since I was a teenager and I was like okay 18 okay when I graduate college okay when I graduate medical school uh, okay I'm, I'm busy with this and that studies and income and business and that sort of thing okay by the time I'm 30 32 right now um, never had six packs in my life um, so uh, you know I don't want to at the end of my life when I don't have time um, to, to reminisce these things uh, I want to try to listen to the whispers of my future self to say in order to become that ideal version in, in a multitude in a multiverse of, of different pathways that my life can go try to signal out that version that I'm trying to become that, that I'm holding in my head which I actually don't even know uh, like I have to really articulate that visualize that so, so there's so much work to be done from studying cy psycho cybernetics to all the self-development books that I've, I've listened to and I've, you know maybe multiple times but not in a way of okay how am I gonna implement this into my everyday thing because what is important you do every day from from eating sleeping uh, breathing um, and, and, and it has to be a part of daily regiment and so right now there's so many things that i know i should be doing like uh writing down my thoughts writing down things i'm grateful for having a strategy for the day having a meal strategy for the day uh having a sleep regiment um just a bunch of things and right now having to financially restart um while also doing it somewhat silently um with with the mirage of i'm still a millionaire uh but like internally just like managing um my very limited uh resources outside of that single investment which is not looking too healthy um i will uh i will need to bounce back uh much quicker strategically silently depending on myself again seeing myself as both the patient and the clinician and um, trying to shape this character mold this character as if I was uh, a subject or a son of, of a very militant father um, 
but uh, th there's a lot of wastes in my life, it's a lot of squandering in my day from time, from not eating properly, which leads to lethargy, which leads to a bunch of ripple effects, to not staying hydrated enough. Um, th there are just huge gaps that can increase efficiencies uh, from allocating things that can be done by others um, to the even starting to blend my meals so that I can just drink it, which I've been doing for the past two days because I've been recovering from a fever and everything tastes bland. I don't think, you know, there was this theory, um, terror management theory. My, my gym trainer is now many hours plus one minute late because it's 10 on one. Um, there's a, the terror management theory, which is, is I really like the idea of, I mean, I, I, I like what it does for me in terms of um, it uh, uh, helps me to understand that the brain protects us from these very terrifying realities such as death um, by, because if, if you were told that, that someday you would be robbed of all of your possessions, of everyone in your life would be taken away from you, of all of your everything that you've built would be taken away from you from 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 your 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 accomplishments to your um house to your uh children to um your eyes uh some that someday you'd be blind that someday you can feel that someday you can think even um and that could happen at any moment like it would be like how could you not think about that all the time and that is the reality for all of us. Death will come for each and every one of us. But our brain somehow suppresses that. And in a similar way, when maybe uh, an adrenaline rush hits or something like that, um, at least for, for the stoic mind, uh, which I need to also, I really want to dive into stoicism, which I, I say I'm a big proponent of, but like, where's the daily, you know, implementation of that, meditation, all oh, that stuff. But anyway, um, in a similar way, I think terror management theory is also helping me to, or adrenaline rush or something, to, to, to proceed and take the next step and the next step as opposed to mental breakdown or as opposed to like that uh, rich, uh, well, I guess every, every billionaire is rich, right? Uh, that, that billionaire in some European country that was like the the richest man in that country and then due to some hedging bet of some stock or something that he became the second richest and he was waiting for a bank loan or something to complete some orders or something and that he didn't think was going to come through and instead of being able to mentally manage that he stepped in front of a train so um terror management theory very important uh it sounds bad but it's also very very uh, productive towards this, um, I want to say unfriendly universe. I mean, it helps to think of the universe as friendly, but the reality is everything's trying to kill us from rocks to earthquakes, to volcanoes, to the weather, to animals, to cancer, to the sun. I mean, it's just like, uh, what's not trying to kill you, right? I mean, we didn't include people and traffic and like man-made things. Holy, holy. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it, we can delusionally say um, a, a, a friendly universe, but uh, yeah, speaking of delusion, I also want to um, entrance myself with, with um, delusions uh, of, yes, you can, of uh, I will make it happen, or, you know, whatever, like, the hypnotic elements that I need to uh, be in the state of, trans state, um, of hyper focus or flow uh, to achieve something that you know in this like point of where where it can bifurcate I can create this reality where I become the the, the rising uh, star the rising phoenix out of out of these burning embers and ashes uh, or I could just stay you know uh, burnt and 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 this become what what is or I would have already peaked and, and that would have been uh, just it. So um, with nothing much uh, um, else to do, uh, it is a real life video game of, okay, 
this is the state that I find myself in. Uh, kind of like an opening scene to a video game of like, you find yourself in this situation, you were a millionaire and overnight you've lost your, you know, your, 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 your enterprise, your empire, and uh, you're in debt like this, and this is your current skill set, and uh, this is your current resources, and this is your current state of mind. Um, this is what you're dealing with, which by the way, I'm also dealing with uh, learning how to walk again due to a limb lengthening surgery that I did out of a myriad of reasons uh, that went awry and caused some mal uh, um, or some complications. I was gonna say some malpractice, but uh, maybe so. Um, some complications which hasn't allowed me to walk properly for two years. Still working on that. That's why I'm doing exercise in my home gym, waiting for my trainer. Um, dealing with neuropathy, uh, so th this character, uh, I, I use Percocet, which is a painkiller, to help me fall asleep. Like, like that's the state I find myself in. N not the best physical shape, not, not definitely not the best financial shape, um, and also dealing with it silently, trying to make something, and also people are still dependent on me. Um, so, uh, I, I have... I'm currently in my the the capital of my motherland, Dhaka, Bangladesh, but I have a place that I've leased for a year in Miami and a place that I've leased for a year in Dubai. The Miami is the Ritz Carlton and Sunny Isles, which is having some problems. And again, this is a part of the character's profile where like there's just a myriad of problems from overseas to Dubai. I'm actually in the Burj Khalifa, which is like quite the milestone for someone born in a mud house to now be staying at the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Um, but, but I handed that over to a friend until I figured things out here. So uh, yeah, that's the state I find myself in. I would like to commit to this sort of uh, content and, and the betterment of this content through other uh, um, supporting uh, elements, whether it's other people doing the videography, the editing, um, and me just focusing on the content, the delivery, the actual uh, progression of my journey of this character, and, and also the, the 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 feedback of of the clinician and the um, subject um, and the client. Anyway, uh, so. It, th there is a lot to be worked on here and I need to better, I, I need to evolve to evolve out of this situation. Um, and so there is a lot to work upon. And truthfully, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, I, I think it's a sense of therapy and it gamifies it for me, uh, which, which is, which is, a lot more engaging. Um, very interesting. I mean, like a anything you gamify that creates greater engagement. Like, just think about a kid that's trying to learn a different language or difficult mathematics in a textbook form versus an iPad gamification form. Um, and, and that's the difference here is like, okay, there's all these habits that like, you know, you should be doing. And then there's the gamified points version of it, which the points in this case are maybe um, just, I can see my progress from like, oh, look a month ago, I was like chubby like this and you know, talking about this area of my life. And now, oh, I did make progress in there. Or like, oh, my, my actual content delivery got better or my like, style of, of recording these memoirs got better or some some area of progress and again this is going to be public um which i guess why not um i mean it, typically people tend to share their struggles and overcoming those struggles post getting over them and say oh like no one knew that seven months ago i was going through this and that i'd love to hear some people that we look at as icons and like people that are tops of their industry be like, oh, I just lost everything. I'm gonna start sharing with you day by day how I go from rebuild like nothing, from something to nothing or from nothing to something to nothing now is where I am because I started from nothing 
got to something and then back to nothing and I want to go to a higher something. Uh, so I would love like, and so that, I, I, I've always been curious about the process and not the destination of like, oh, oh, you reached, you know, whatever milestone, how'd you get there? Like, tell me about that. Like, that's what I want to see. So um, it, it, is, it, is, it is something that I'm really uh, looking forward to capturing for myself and and uh, and I think also in teaching uh, there is even if there's no students in the classroom or on this virtual platform um, just the act of teaching reinforces the it to the brain and impl like if I if I try to teach whoever you are on the other side um, nice nice to meet you by the way um, some 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 of something like, okay, these are the habits of a successful person. And, and I teach you this every single day and I, and I tell you about like, okay, you should drink enough water, you should work out, you should do this, this is how you work out, this is how you make sure you drink enough water, all the strategies of every habit that you should implement. And I just teach that to you. By the act of just doing that, I will be more mindful of how much water I drink and how much workout I do or and how much sleep I get and uh, and that that will slowly seep into my character and uh, I'm very curious to see who I can become it, it is it is very intriguing to me how far I've gotten with just the background that I come from would not have indicated who I have become um, because my parents are not like this, my culture is not like this, my religion is not like this, my background, um, none of my upbringing would have indicated that I become the kind of free thinker that I am and, and kind of, I don't want to say creative thinker, but like all over the place thinker. I, I mean, like, it, I, I don't want to, maybe I should bring myself up. You know what? I am a creative thinker. Uh, you know, these kinds of things that I need to uh, break down my limiting beliefs, understand my limiting beliefs, like get to know what they are and, and then break them down and, and build new beliefs that can take me to new destinations. So a lot uh, of rambling here, a lot of working through these thoughts in my head. And already, I gotta say, to some degree, it feels therapeutic um, because I, there's no one in my life that I can speak to like this that would have the cognition well, uh, there may be two, my brother and Jeremy, but uh, I don't want to burden them, especially because the, both of them are also my clients for, for this. So th there's a world of things that I need to resolve, uh, both with my money and with the money that, that, that others have also invested um, on the same platform. Now, it's, it's, none of this is in the control that I, if it was in my control, I, I obviously would have resolved it. Uh, but there are variables here that uh, put me in the same boat as everyone else so that as much as they may look to me as a source of answer as a lighthouse, I'm also in the same boat. I'm not out there as like, hey, Sal can solve this. I'm in the boat with everyone, including my own capital. Uh, just when I got to multiple millions, just when I could say officially I'm a multi-millionaire, I back down to negative, actually. I, I, it is negative because I actually owe somebody $3,000. And uh, so, yeah, well, which I, I am going to pay him in, in 48 hours. Anyway, I'm restarting from, from ground zero. Um, uh, uh, and, and it is... It's going to be a journey worth capturing, and that is the heart of what I'm trying to say. Whether there is anything on the other side, anyone on the other side, just for my um, staying engaged with, with this gamification of, of, of this limitless journey of where I have started this real-life video game to where I can take it, uh, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued. And this will help me stay accountable and uh, stay focused to give updates, to uh, uh, share with me, myself, and you. Um, and so with that, I begin these memoirs at a very interesting time in my life. And you're invited for a journey of a lifetime.